Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the uh, Desert Dreams homestead here where we are uh, just getting started uh, building our 40 acre homestead. Uh, first order business uh, here is our pump house and uh, this week we've been working on it. We've gotten two days in so I thought I'd uh, film just a quick update here for everybody. Let me turn this camera around so you can see this morning first thing we went ahead and poured this concrete pad to connect our pump house to the well itself and so the reason that we have done this uh, if you have not been following along, along and watching my previous videos is uh, this way if the well ever needs serviced or if we need to pull um, the pump for any reason anytime down the line uh, a, a pump truck or a well truck can basically come into this whole area that was cleared out for the drilling of the well back up to right here which is essentially what the pump truck did that, that drilled the well and they will be able to have no overhead obstruction and pull that well if ever needed but what i'm going to do is build kind of like a doghouse over this concrete pad and uh, that pipe will carry the water across and into the pump house through that little doghouse opening there so this will all be covered uh, you can see the insulation sticking out we just started insulating the inside today so uh, we've been we've been quite busy but uh, the roofing underlayment is on. I did start putting some metal on, although I have changed my mind and I'm gonna go to a, a larger metal that comes down more since I don't have any trim up there. I, I've kind of built this wrong. I'm learning a lot in building this. Uh, I probably shouldn't have put the rafters on top of the walls. I should have inset them inside the wall. Uh, a couple other things I probably should have done to make this build just a little bit better, but hey, I'm learning along the way. So we've got <clears throat> this concrete done today which is really nice. All the siding is on everywhere. Uh, there's no more little strips missing or needed. If you've been following along, you'll know that strip there that's a slightly different color. It's just a different um, different sheet, and that was the color of that sheet. So tomorrow we'll probably start painting. Now that we've got all of this on, uh, I do also have the door installed and it closes. And so now we can lock this thing up, even though we don't really have much concerns out here with that, uh, which I'm grateful for. That is so much better than where I come from, Washington State. We've left so many things out here without having issues. It's just the local people. Everybody looks after one another, and it's it's nice. Uh, we can see the door is in there. Uh, no trim around the door just yet. Here, let me take you inside. I should probably back out for going inside here. Give the camera a second to adjust. Okay, so you can see we have insulation in all of the full-size bat openings. There's a couple uh, spots that don't have insulation because they're, <coughs> excuse me, there's still some floating around the air. <clears throat> they're um, not quite uh, the full 16 inch width in that corner and in that corner. And then of course we still got to insulate up and around the door. Let me close this. Hopefully it won't get too dark when I close it some. So we'll still have to insulate all around the door, but this back wall we have insulated floor to ceiling all the way along and then we've brought our solar panels in as well as uh, our pump in we don't have the pressure pots in here yet so again that's the opening where that pipe will enter all of this is going to be insulated even the ceiling we will have insulated that's what these bags here are for uh, we've gone through and did spray foam and all the gaps and things because uh, we didn't build it correctly, but that's okay. And that will help insulate things in here since this is where our water will be at. There's the solar panels. There's four of them um, that will go on the roof. Those are four 100-watt solar panels, so 400 watts that will go down uh, to the pump to bring our water up. So this is uh, this is what we've got done. It's been a busy couple days. Got all the insulation in. We finished all the sheeting on the outside. I finished uh, the roofing. This uh, one strip over on this side was missing. So we got that. We got that strip put in. And now, like I said, the door's in, door locks. Everything's moving along good. So, uh, you know, we've been making a lot of progress here, um, getting stuff done. <clears throat> if you are just tuning in, uh, we bought 40 acres here in the high desert of Arizona, uh, where we are going to be building our homestead. Uh, first order of business was to get water and power and uh, we've got our electrical box uh, The electrical company just contacted me letting me know all the permits are done and everything's paid for and good to go So they want an appointment to come out and install the power which I'm looking forward to So I got to get a few things to make that happen. Uh, but other than that um, Things are moving along. Well, oh here I'll turn real quick Here you can see the water lines leaving they come into the pump house here and leave out that way so uh, But it's out of here today 
we've uh, gotten all that we're going to get done today. We will be out here tomorrow, so uh, come check back in for another update. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thanks for tuning in.